Well, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to bring you something new. It is the world's first self-cleaning, mopping, and vacuuming robot. Now, the self-cleaning part comes in as it relates to the mopping function, and it takes place down here in the base station. Up here is the mop, and we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing today and let you go ahead and take a look at this. Now, a little bit of history about the company. Uh, the name of this is the uh, T10, and it is from a company called Narwhal. And this is the first robot vacuum that they have put out for sale. And uh, the company uh, is a fairly new company. And the unique part about it is it was started by Kickstarter. If you're not familiar with Kickstarter, Kickstarter is essentially a crowdfunding uh, resource for starting your own business and producing products. And so uh, this is crowdfunded. And uh, that's what's really unique about this. And I remember when it first was advertised uh, as a Kickstarter campaign, I was very interested in it because of the uniqueness of it. Uh, they raised enough money to go ahead and bring this to market, and this is coming to market here in the U.S. at least, uh, June 1st for sale. And uh, very excited to be able to bring this uh, product to you and put it through s several tests and see how well it does, especially against other robot vacuums. So uh, we won't delay, and we'll go ahead and get started on the unboxing now. All right, we're going to start with the main unit here, which is the mopping and vacuuming robot here from our wall, the actual T10. And uh, you can see it is, it does come in a very attractive package here. And we'll go ahead and dive into this. Nice looking manual. There is a let's get started card in there. T10 quick start guide, QR code to download the app. Tells you where the QR code is and shows you how to get connected. Very handy. And here is the T10, which is very interesting to me just right off the bat. And this is my first time opening this up, so you guys are getting a chance to witness this as I am witnessing it. Now, I am familiar with this robot. I've followed it since the inception, since the Kickstarter program. I've been very excited to get my hands on this. Uh, the company Narwhal did send me this. Uh, sample to try out and test and give it a review for all of y'all. So very, very thankful for that. Uh, here we are looking at the uh, interesting shape of the Narwhal T10. If you can see that, it's not round and it's not a D shape like some of the other uh, robot vacuums. Uh, it's kind of a combination of the two of them. So it'll be interesting to see how well it performs. We have the top mounted LiDAR sensor here. We have one single button here, kind of looks like a play button. Um, is a symbol here on the very top of the lid and opening it up and here we are and under the lid we have yet again another button it's a power button looks like a play resume button and here is the dustbin looks like it just pulls straight out and this is a 400 milliliter dustbin here that's included with a HEPA filter so not a bad size dustbin also uh, they include here a cleaning brush and a uh, little crevice tool, so that's pretty neat. I'm not sure if that's supposed to stay there or not. Yeah, it looks like it does stay there. Actually, it's held in magnetically there in the side. Very nice touch, very nice touch, Narwhal. So as you can see here in the close-up of inside the robot vacuum, we have the motor here in the very back that's going to suck, and we have an inlet. Now, this robot vacuum for a robot vacuum does not have a spinning brush in the very bottom and that's probably going to affect his performance somewhat so on carpet we will certainly test it out for floors we'll test that out also uh, and we'll take a look at the uh, mop and the brush situation here on the bottom in just a few minutes uh, as i mentioned here on the very top we have the lidar sensor here and on the front it looks like we have another sensor and also the charging contact for the very front this front is a bumper right here that allows the robot vacuum to back up if it impacts something. We do have, on the very bottom, we have cliff sensors. Looks like there are four cliff sensors around the bottom. Two of your standard wheels that have suspension on them here. Looks like it's an access compartment here. I don't know if that's for the battery or what that's for, but we have an access compartment on the bottom, a front spinning wheel, and then the attachments here for the mop and the uh, spinning brushes for the vacuum attachment. In the back here, we can see that there are exhaust ports for the exhaust of the vacuum motor that sits under here. Here on the side, it looks like we have two sensors, two wall sensors here on the side. That's kind of a unique design. And that's what allows it to ride along the edge of the wall 
and uh, stay, you know, about yay far off of the wall so it doesn't collide with it. And on the very top, the only place I see narwhal is here in two places on top of the LiDAR sensor. I do not see T10 anywhere except for on the very bottom here. It says vacuum cleaner, narwhal vacuuming and mopping robot T10. And let's see if my cat Kiki here approves of it. No, she wants nothing to do with it. All right, we'll go ahead and move on now to the base station. And here we have the base station, the self-cleaning base station that's going to clean the brushes of the mopping pads on the T10. Uh, and this just slips right off of the base station. I like how they have that packaged. And uh, this is a fairly good size uh, device. So make sure you have room in your house for this. Here's the accessory pack. Let you look at this right here. Very, very nice looking. We have an LCD screen here on the top. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. We'll go ahead and demo this and let you know how it works. Uh, we have a home button and a play button. The same two buttons that are on the robot are here. So you can control the robot vacuum from here if you don't want to control it from your smartphone device. Opening up the top uh, shows us our two water containers. We have the clean water container here, as you can see. It is a fairly good size and also the dirty water tank here which is looks like it's about equal the size of the clean water tank this again and it says right here on the very front it says uh, waste waste water and clean water so you know which one goes where now opening these up it looks like it's just a latch and you open it up fill your water up close it up and the same thing would go for the dirty water tank as well uh, looks like it's a fairly easy system there now looking down here this is where the robot vacuum is going to go home in order to clean itself and we see a tray in here and this tray simply slides right out there's two little tabs here on the side and you pull it straight out looking in there i can see in the very back i can see charging contacts that the robot vacuum makes contact with and i can see the spray bars that spray each of the two uh, mopping pads, which we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Setting this down and aside, let's take a look at this uh, cleaning station here. Now, this is what the mopping pads will actually spin on in order to clean. This is where the magic of the Narwhal TTN comes in. When it comes into dock, both of the pads will dock right here on top of this, and they will spin and agitate against these nubs here, along with water spraying up from the middle and draining out the bottom and being sucked up into the dirty water tank. Very innovative, and uh, I'm excited to see how well it works. I also noticed there is some uh, little sticky tape here. I guess that's for the T10 to get good traction coming into the base station home. That just slides right in. Now here we have what looks like the accessory pack. Let's get into this. This is the, the meat and potatoes. So uh, looks like we have here are the mopping pads. It comes with an extra set of mopping pads here. That's great to have. We have the vacuum attachment with the two side brushes here. And we also have, and this is a really nice thing to have too, two extra side spinning brushes. You have spare spinning brushes with it. And they also include something else that's very nice. Uh, some people prefer to use these this is a magnetic strip. You can lay this down anywhere inside your house, and if the robot vacuum gets near it, it will avoid it. And let's take a look at how these attachments attach to the bottom of the T10. So flipping it over on the bottom, my understanding is that this attaches magnetically, so it's really easy to attach. Now, what we're looking at here, again, this doesn't have the brush roller. We just have a rubberized um, piece here that goes around and that's I guess to help get closer contact to the floor and provide kind of like a tunnel for the debris to come up in and then we have our two side spinning brushes but uh, my understanding is this just goes in like this and pops in just like that there you go folks very very simple now with this T10 you do have to switch between vacuum and mopping modes now for me that's not that big of a deal personally I like to vacuum my floors first of all my robot vacuums and then turn around and mop second. In fact, I wish for many of them there was an ability to disable the vacuuming portion of the robot vacuum altogether. Vacuuming 
uh, at the same time as mopping is not a great idea. Uh, you wouldn't want to mop your floor and then take a stand, stand up or stick vacuum cleaner and vacuum right over it. That's because vacuum cleaners are not meant to have water sucked up inside of them. So removing this is just as simple as pulling back on it, lifting out, and let's look at how the mopping attachments. Now these are the mopping pads here. It actually comes with some instructions on the back to show you how to replace the mopping pads. Again, it comes with an extra set of mopping pads. Uh, and it feels, uh, looks like it feels pretty good for scrubbing the floors. And these, my understanding, literally are magnetic and they just go in just like that. Yep, that is it. So they are in there, they are triangle shaped, which is great because they actually get to the very edge of the robot here. So these should be better than your typical traditional mopping robot. Uh, I'm very excited to go ahead and get started with this. Uh, have it map my house out and go ahead and start mopping with it and vacuuming and seeing what all it can do. Again, this is the Narwhal T10 uh, from the innovative company um, that had, was founded only a few years ago and was started up by Kickstarter. This product is going to be available for sale in the U.S. come June 1st. In fact, if you want to go ahead and pre-order, you can now. However, come June 1st, the very beginning week of June 1st, please follow my link down below for an extra $100 off of this item. So that's right, if you follow my link in the description below, you can receive an extra $100 off of this Narwhal T10. And if any other time outside of that, I'd appreciate you using my link. I do get a small commission from it to help support the channel. Anyway, I appreciate you viewing this. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you like this video. And also make sure you click that bell notification icon because I'm going to be coming out with reviews, in-depth reviews, and tests with the Narwhal T10 very soon. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.